Hello you guys and welcome back to another fun edition of Virtual Tween Baking with me, Abby. Um, I'm in my kitchen and I am ready to make some chocolate chip pancakes. I know it's not like technically baking in the oven, but um, very similar. We're gonna make a nice batter, we're gonna make it from scratch, and we're gonna make it right on the stovetop in a nonstick pan. Um, so let's get right into it. If you've got a virtual tween baking kit, here's what you should have. Um, one and a fourth cups of flour. You should have two teaspoons of baking powder, um, two tablespoons of sugar, a pinch of salt, which I decided I will provide just on the off chance you didn't have salt at home. Now you've got some. Um, something that you will need from home that's in the ingredients that I did not provide is one and a fourth cups of water. So measure that out and have that at the ready. Um, you will need two and a half tablespoons of vegetable oil. You will need a half a teaspoon of vanilla. Um, you will need two thirds cups of the best part, chocolate chips. Um, and then finally in your kits, I have provided the other, my other favorite part, um, maple syrup. So you guys will all get some of that as well. Um, and this is a really simple recipe. You might notice there's no eggs. There's actually no butter. Um, so, you know, you don't need to store this in the fridge or anything. So, um, really easy. I added chocolate chips to it just to make it more fun and the maple syrup and everything. But if you want to, in the end, top it with, you know, if you wanted to put some butter on it at the end, um, or like fresh fruit or anything like that, that is totally your choice, depending on what you have. Um, so now I'm just going to jump right into the instructions. So I'm going to meet you guys at step number one. Step number one, combine the dry ingredients in a large bowl. Um, the dry ingredients in this case are flour, baking powder, sugar, and salt. So I have nicely pre-measured these out for you guys. So I'm going to do my flour check. We're going to do our baking powder, two teaspoons of that. And this will make our pancakes fluff up. Check, we are gonna do our two tablespoons of sugar for a little bit of sweetness. And finally, a pinch of salt. Um, you don't have to add all the salt I gave you. If you really wanna just take a pinch and toss it in there, or if you wanna add it, um, you totally can, depending on your tastes and your preferences. I'm just gonna sprinkle mine right in there. It's really not a ton, it's just enough to kind of like bring out some of those other flavors. Um, so, we're gonna take our handy dandy whisk and stir these up so that there's no lumps in here. Um, we don't want a big chunk of baking powder, um, anything like that. So this is kind of like similar to like sifting our ingredients. This is just making sure everything's nice and light and airy and evenly distributed. Easy enough. I'm going to now move on to step number two. Step number two. In a separate bowl, my orange bowl here, we're gonna combine our wet ingredients, which I have listed out for you. So that's going to be our water, vegetable oil, and vanilla. So don't mix in the maple syrup, that's for the end. Um, so, one and a fourth cups of pre-measured water, two and a half tablespoons of vegetable oil, we all know what happens when you add oil to water. They're not gonna mix very well, but um, it's okay because when we put them all in the dry ingredients, they'll, they'll mix up a lot easier. Um, and we are just going to finally finish with our half a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm just gonna give this with a fork, just a little bit of a mix here. It's still gonna be separated because of the oil and water, but um, just enough to kind of get everything sort of swirled around. Um, so from here, we're going on to step number three, which is pour our wet ingredients in our dry ingredients and mix until just moist. This is one of those uh, recipes where you don't want to over mix something. Um, you don't, that'll make it tougher. So like kind of the, you, the less you work with it, the fluffier and lighter it will be in the end. So I've got my wet ingredients here in the orange bowl, dry ingredients in the metal bowl. I'm just gonna pour these in. And then um, I have, I'm actually just gonna use, 
You can use a spatula. You can probably use a whisk. It's going to be kind of thick, but I'm going to just use my fork here and make sure everything's nice and smooth. We don't want any big lumps in here. Stirring and stirring. And actually, this is this batter is thin enough where I actually am going to now take my whisk. This will help to kind of beat out any of those extra lumps that are in there. And I've got, I'm kind of left with this nice smooth batter. Nice, it smells, smells like any other baked good. It kind of has that flowery smell, but it also has the vanilla. Um, so step number four, again, don't want to overdo this too much. Step number four, we're going to fold in our chocolate chips. Again, trying not to like over mix this or overwork it too much. So two thirds of chocolate chips, you can absolutely add them all. Um, if you want to save them till the end and sprinkle, sprinkle them on top, you can too. But I'm going to add mine right now, just like the recipe says. I'm going to dump them right in. I'm just going to take my fork now and just kind of toss these and fold them around in there. Easy enough. They're all kind of covered up and like evenly in there now. And whoo, it's flying. Um, and that is, that's the hard part. That is, um, that's basically it. That's making the batter. So now we're going to move on to the fun part, which is cooking it in our um, little skillet and uh, getting to flip it. And it, it's just like a really nice, easy, fun um, recipe. So uh, let's, I'll move over to my oven and I will show you guys um, how to cook some pancakes. All right, we are at my stovetop now, and we are at the step where we are going to, with adult supervision, preheat a nonstick pan to medium heat. So I'm gonna go ahead, turn my nonstick pan here to medium heat. Um, if you want to, if at home you have some, like a little sprinkle of vegetable oil or nonstick spray or even butter, you can use that to grease your pan. I did not provide any in the kit but if you want to give like this is uh vegetable oil if you want to give a little drizzle in there or like i said any non-stick spray or if you have a non-stick pan you're good to go so i'm going to let this preheat for a minute or two at medium heat and then i'm going to show you guys how to pour in your batter and flip it all right i am ready to pour my um pancake batter into my heated up pan so i i'm actually going to use a fourth of a cup of a measuring cup just to make sure that my pancakes are all the same size if you want to use a ladle or even just pour your batter in and eyeball it that's fine too they don't all have to be the exact same size um but if you want to shoot for the same size ones you can use a measuring um cup just to ensure the same amount of batter is going in um each time also, mine is preheated to um, about medium heat right now. We might have to tweak that as we go. Your stovetop might be different. It's best to do this with an adult so they can help you adjust the heat if you need to. Um, but I'm gonna start mine off at medium heat. I've got my lightly oiled pan. I'm going to take a scoop of my batter and make sure I get some chocolate chips in there. And I'm just gonna pour it in. And I can hear it kind of sizzling and it's bubbling in there. Try to get all that in. Don't want to touch it yet, um, but you want to take your spatula and at least just have that ready. Um, and we're going to kind of wait a minute. So what I'm seeing here is around the edges, it's kind of bubbling a little bit. I can hear it bubbling. Um, but there's probably going to be some telltale signs when this is ready to flip. So we don't want to jump the gun yet. We're just kind of waiting and I think mine's at a good temperature. It's not like smoking and like spitting oil everywhere. It seems to be kind of at a nice light, like um, browning stage right now. And I see some little bubbles forming around the end. So, so far so good. We gotta be patient. Sometimes with the first one, it's kind of a tester. So if your heat is too high, um, you might find out with your first one, if it turns out too golden brown or even like darker you can adjust your heat as you go it's okay and something else to remember is you probably want to have a plate ready for when you um flip it and then when it's done just so you can move it to the side and um get ready to pour your next one so this is what mine is looking like so far so far so good i won't mess with it too much and i see little bubbles forming around the end 
I'm gonna let this cook for like maybe another minute or so and um, when I'm ready to flip it I will show you guys because I can see some little bubbles forming but I think it's gonna take probably another minute for anything really exciting to happen so I'll check back in, in with you when I'm ready to flip it but I'm gonna keep a close eye on it all right I am at a place where I think I'm just about ready to flip and if you look closely you can see all those bubbles on top of my pancake um, and it is kind of like freely moving around the pan, which is a good sign it's not stuck to the bottom. But once you get a lot of those kind of open bubbles on top, that's a pretty good indicator. Um, you're probably just about ready to flip. You can also take your spatula after a few minutes and just kind of peek under and see if things look golden brown or if they still look really light in color. I think mine looks golden brown and met like in, in most spots. So I'm gonna give this a flip very carefully and if you've never done this before make sure you have a grown-up help you um because sometimes it can be tricky but it's it's once you do it a few times it's really not so bad so you're just gonna get it on your spatula turn it over and you've got a chocolate chip pancake that was not so hard so this this side probably will not take as long to cook the other side probably took me three or four minutes um, but don't crank your heat up or anything like that to try to speed it up. Just let it cook. Um, this one will probably, this side will probably take like a minute or two and then I'll transfer it to my plate. I'll pour my next one and I'll keep going, adjusting the heat as I need to, adding a little bit more oil as I need to until I have a delicious plate full of pancakes. So I will show you guys at the end when I have all my pancakes done and I will add my maple syrup. All right, the pancakes are all done. They are golden brown on both sides. I had a little bit of butter, so I put some on top of mine and the finishing touch is drizzling maple syrup. You guys can make these for your family. You can make them for Mother's Day or Father's Day, or you could just make them for fun. Sometimes you can make them for dessert, whatever. They're delicious chocolate chip pancakes and not bad. Um, besides the butter I added, this recipe was actually vegan, believe it or not. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy these. I hope you get to share them um, with your family. And now you have um, a new breakfast that you can make for everybody on holidays or whatever. So I hope you guys um, enjoy the rest of this month and I will see you next month for tween baking. Hey, go eat some pancakes and have a good day. Bye.